What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I know y'all miss me, but I'm back. Doing some weekend energy for all the signs. I'm on the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's up for the water signs for this lovely weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pisces, Scorpio. The bottom is the Nine of Wands. So we're like, I'm not letting nobody in. Our <laughs> girl, we are on guard, hardcore. Some of y'all think someone's after your bunny. Some of y'all are like, what the hell's the hold up with this mofo? And some of y'all are like. Fuck this big ass load I gotta carry for this motherfucker. I'm out. So, Ten of Wands, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all just don't wanna work on nothing. <laughs> like, I worked on this already. I'm not doing this no more, you know? Some of y'all are in a situation where all you really want is someone to spend time with you, but it's a problem, you know? Like, it's one-sided, and for no reason. Cancer, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Wands. Some kind of burden you're carrying. Some kind of something you're, like, going through right now. Could be a family situation where there was... A bad investment someone could have lost some money um maybe you've been giving too much money to your family and oh shit no somebody stole some money from y'all okay temperance eight of swords so some of y'all are dealing with the sagittarius but i feel like you don't really even know what the hell to feel about this because someone's doing something here. That's shady. Behind your back, someone could have lied. Someone could have cheated. Some of y'all, your family really did steal some money from you. And now you're sitting here with the four of cups like, these motherfuckers. You know, like, oh no, you really didn't do that though. You know what I mean? Or you found out that someone that moved away from you that you thought were on the up and up, they're still doing dumb shit behind your back. So now you're like, well, I don't really know what I'm supposed to feel right now. You know, like, what the hell? You just want to know the truth. What is the romance angel card for cancer? Oh. Pay attention to the red flags, Cancer. You might be picking up on something. Or this is the overall message for water signs. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is a super negative reading for y'all, but damn. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. All right. Cancer, you have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experienced by love in your present moments. You almost could have had a new person coming into your life trying to offer you something, but you're like, you cut that shit off. But you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Like I said, some of y'all, somebody stole something from you. So now your trust is fucked up. Like, I trusted you in my house. I trusted you with my kids. Like, what? You know what I mean? Um... You're just like, why didn't I see this? You know, what do I need to know? Someone could be giving you something. Some of you guys need to um, know that you have a guardian. Um... And um, 
you have some health issues right now that I feel like um, you might need to go get checked out, Cancer. Um, it could have something to do with your muscles or just something in your body, but you have the Strength card, you have the Guardian, and you have Listen to Your Body. This talks about, you know, kind of signals that your body might be picking up on, might be affecting, like, your strength or your body, like, something is off. And you have someone watching over you. I feel like that's important. You also have someone watching over your children, if that is... A, um, and you want them to be strong or something along that line. I feel like everything is okay in this situation. So, Akuna Matata, um, you're being guided, um, and you are stronger than you could ever imagine, or maybe you forgot how strong you are somewhere along the line. Pisces. So some of you guys are going through a pretty heavy transformation right now, like heavy. Um, your cards were the Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords in reverse. You kind of are at a place right now where you are coming out of if you had anxiety, if you had where you weren't if you had insomnia, if you were worried about something, if you were like up at night, you know, you're coming out of that. But at the same time, you're guarding yourself. You're like, I don't want to really be open to this right now, but you're also still kind of holding on to something. So there's some confusion around a fire sign for some of you guys where they're still holding on to you. You're holding on to them. There's a confusing ass um, vibe <laughs> around this. And I feel like what you need to know is it's very codependent. This person probably relies on you for everything. And you're like, I don't know if I can trust them, you know, um, because you guys are vibrating at a different level right now where you're transforming to the point where this is and this was something that was like really unexpected but other than that do you need to know that there's like a lot of hidden blessings coming in for you that are going to be really unexpected as you're going through this transformation things are going to be happening but i feel like if you're the one holding on to this situation where this person's really codependent and there's trust issues maybe it's a time to take a break realize that um someone needs to figure their shit out on their own and i don't know how else to say that and um, you have things that are going to be revealed to you um, along the way. And just expect like unexpected things to happen. I feel like some of y'all walked through a portal <laughs> for real. You didn't even know. And you're going through this massive transformation. You're like looking around like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> you know what I mean? So now you're picking up on the lower vibrational people around you. People that are codependent. And people that... Just can't live without you, but you really can't fucking trust them. Like, eh, I'm going to have to say no. You know what I mean? Pay attention to the red flags as usual. Um, Scorpio. You've got a mouthful over here, too. Um, so your cards on the table were the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Hangman, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So you could be dealing with a slow ass earth sign who is still kind of holding on to a situation from their past where it was really one sided. I feel like this person or you gave a lot to somebody and it never really came together and it just kind of like was stuck in this one position. Um, then you had the Hierophant and the Tower. This could be a Taurus. But then the Tower card is Scorpio, so I feel like whatever situation <laughs> or whatever way this person maybe was coming at you in the past or if this is still here, like, you're going to blow this up right away because that's just how you are. You know what I mean? Like, you're kind of standing in this place where you're ready for this to blow up because you kind of realize now that you don't, you're kind of listening to your guide, you're listening to things around you. Um, some of you guys just really want to be happy in a situation and it's like, there's some things going on in this situation where maybe someone's doing too much or maybe someone's going through something where they went through a really painful ending and they haven't really healed yet. So this can't really come together until they heal. Um, 
You have to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. You have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And then you have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you guys could be going on a vacation with this person in the future. Or maybe it's just time to go on a vacation. <laughs> um... Someone's working way too much. Someone's doing way too much over here. And I feel like y'all want to get together <laughs> in uh, Netflix and chill, but it's not really working out right now. You have unconditional love, commit to happiness, vibration, and well-being. You guys are raising your vibration as well. You guys are working on yourselves. You're committing to happiness. You're committing to yourself. You're staying in this unconditional love. And I think that that's what's going to bring in the right person. So if this person isn't a I feel like it's really a block right now. As you raise your vibration, that goes for everybody across the board. As you raise our vibration, we are not going to be subject to people that are lower than us anymore. They're, I mean, I think like... They might still be in our lives if we haven't really released them. We might be able to, like, see them. But I feel like you're going to pick up on the fact that you're not on the same page as them anymore. Like, if they want to be down here and you're up here, then when you guys even try to come together, it's not going to be on the same wavelength, you know? You can't come back into someone's life on the same bullshit if they're kind of up above that now. And that's important. We all have the power of free will. So if you want people to come back into your life, they will. But is it going to be the same story? I mean... Scorpio's not really having it. Um, I don't think I don't think any of the fucking water signs are taking any shit this year. To be honest, like we might love you a lot, but we gotta love you from over here. You know what I mean? You know, we kind of played dumb, played dumb, which is a is a heavy yes, a heavy handed statement for us because I think that people fail to realize what we actually know and what we say. <laughs> And what y'all think that you get away with with us, but we put up with. So kind of like we kind of made our own bed in a way too. So it's to the point where it's like we're kind of getting over this feeling. Like we're not really um, necessarily stuck on any outcome. But at the same time, like we aren't going to take anything less than happy. Like if you can't make me happy, if you're not going to try, if you're going to be doing the same dumb shit, then you got to go. Like basically, you know, take a break. <laughs> because... We want better things, and we're ready to do that. We've done some dumb shit. We've made some wrong investments, but we're not doing that anymore. So I feel like that's important to remember, you know? There's definitely new beginnings. There's definitely new jobs, new opportunities, pregnancies for some of you. But I just feel like there's the right partnerships are coming in. So just be aware of that. Anyways, have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.